Hey everyone, welcome to Teachers Off Duty. I might be chuckling because we've done this now four times, but it feels like fourth time's the charm in this situation. <laughs> situation. My <laughs> name is Tal Williams or Mr. Williams Pre-K. And uh, to my right we have... Hi, I'm Lauren Woolley, Mrs. William Fifth, and I would like it to be known that it's my fault that we had to do this four <laughs> times because I kept laughing and interrupting Tal. If you hear that like um, little like golden retriever laughter in the background and think, who is that? <laughs> um, we would like to introduce Gabe Dannenbring, our brand new full-time co-host. You may have seen him in previous episodes, especially, um, you know, reprising the role as Gomez from The Addams Family. Yeah. And we noticed that you guys just loved him so much and we love him so much. So we're so excited to bring him on full time and have him on all of our episodes. You just, you know, you just bring that golden retriever oh, energy all up you. in here. Give us your sosh. Um, check me out. G unit, <laughs> 20 underscore G under G. <laughs> wow, first time doing Got this. It. Unfortunately, okay, he has to leave now. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, you're fired. And there goes my contract. <laughs> <laughs> check, uh, yeah, I'm G unit 24 on TikTok or look up Gabe Dannenbring. It'll come up right away. But guys, I'm so excited yeah. to be with you guys. Like this is oh, awesome. This you know, is a it, journey. It, it it's one of those things where I never thought that this door would open. Yeah. And I, I you know Chicken. Yeah. And there you here, go. when doors open, you either walk through them or you walk away. And this is one of those where I was like, I'm an idiot if I don't walk through this door. <laughs> Vic is like giving us the <laughs> disapproval <laughs> look of cliche. Yeah. But <laughs> but seriously, I'm so happy to be here. And we're happy to have you. I, I'm, I, this is another instance where I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Aww. And I get to be with two fantastic co-hosts. We and are great. <laughs> wow. <It's here. laughs> One is better than the other, but I won't say who. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's me. I'm kidding. It's, no. It's me. It's probably. <laughs> And that is Just how kidding. I start the drama. Yeah. Just and putting little we... seeds. <laughs> little seeds. <laughs> it's fine. We love it. Thank oh you for coming. Thank okay. you for like, agreeing to do this. Oh, I'm so, so excited. So something that we thought would be a really fun first episode <laughs> with Gabe, because of your content, you're constantly talking about your students roasting you mm -hmm. and always like, you know, crapping on you in class for your outfits and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not literally. <laughs> um, but we thought it'd be fun IBS. to like, oh, oh, ouch. That's okay. Anyway, um, we thought it'd be fun to talk about some of the different instances where our students have roasted us. Oh and yeah. We're even going to roast each other at oh, yeah. the end. Oh yeah. Um, and we're also going to roast our mouths off with the challenge we have later on in the episode. So um, why don't you, Take it away, Gabe, yeah. with a funny roasting story. Oh my gosh. Well, students, I don't know what it is, but they are so confident, especially like middle school students. Yeah. They are so confident. Mm -hmm. They love roasting their teachers. Like they absolutely love roasting me. And they sometimes can make it hurt. Like they they are so good at finding little insecurities and just poking at it. Oh, just yeah. poking. One of my favorite roasts that a student ever said, they said, um, they said, uh, hey, what does Mr. Dameron's hairline look like? And then it was like, what does it look like? They go, the McDonald's logo. And oh. when I heard that, oh, I was wait, like- Wait, look at me. It does. Oh my God, I got, it a, does. I got a great widow's peak. Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> that, that was my first year teaching. And then when I when I heard them say that, I looked in the mirror, I'm like, they're right. These freaking middle schoolers are right. But they're, they're so creative with the roast. Like yeah. they're so funny. And what they usually do, like they'll roast my outfits for whenever I wear something, yeah. but I'll roast them right back. Yeah. And I'll be like, hey, you guys are middle schoolers. You guys dress like a highlighter every single day. <laughs> like neon, neon on neon is not cute. Like you're going to roast me. I'm going to roast you right back. Like you are wearing two different shades of neon yellow. And it just, we'll go back and forth. And it's so entertaining. And but, it's, but it's always like that, like a student roasting you is always, well, not, I don't want to say always, but for the most part, student roasting you is like a sign of a good relationship. Yeah. 100%. Because like, if they don't feel comfortable around you, they're not going to like do that to you yep. well, for right. the most part. There's a difference between like a roast and a malicious, right? That's why like, right. that's why like charities and like, all, and like celebrity roasts, like that, they do as a way, it's like, it's a, like, it's, like a lovingly. Yeah. Like, like, like yeah. you need a brother or sister, right? Like I roast right. my siblings all the time. And it's so good to make fun of yourself. Uh, like yeah, you, I love doing you that. have to be able to make fun of yourself. Yeah. But do do fifth graders roast you? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Their roasts are like a bit more innocent. Mm -hmm. Like they're not as creative, but like mm -hmm. they're, you know, they'll pick on you here and there. So like, OK, one that happened literally this week. So um, sometimes my co-teacher and I, we will like take off 
you know, recess duty, like she'll go outside with the kids. I'll keep ones in that like maybe, you know, have to finish something or whatever. Yeah. So she had a couple of kids. I had to finish some homework and I just said, okay, yeah, send them on in. So they came into my room and they're sitting at my table. And um, one of the students is like, like just real quirky and just say like funny things here and there. And he like I said something that like I had gotten an email earlier that day from like a brand and I was going to be able to do this cool partnership and it was like a character that he really liked. So I was like, oh my gosh, so and so you're going to be so excited with something that's going to be like happening at school. And I was like, they, I'm like, I'm able to do it like because of TikTok. Yeah. And he was like, TikTok cringe. And I was like, <laughs> oh I'm like, well, it's not cringe. But and then after that, he goes, I, he's like, I just don't. He's like, I don't trust you as a teacher. Like looked me dead in the eyes and goes, I don't I trust died. you. And I was like, well, why? And he goes, well, I mean, you're a good teacher. He's like, it's, it's not about you being a bad teacher, but I just don't fully trust you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, those pop quizzes you have. All right, like, all right, <laughs> that's fair. I guess we don't really have many conversations. So right. I'm like, okay. But like, that put me on the spot. I was nervous then. I'm like, um, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to win this fifth grader over right. now. Right, Jeez. How do I How do I do that? I Tell, do, do you have pre-K kids that oh will that roast you? Anna, like as a sub now, do you have kids that will roast you when you're subbing? I'm terrified of getting like roasted by like, older, older like adults or like students, right? So like, in in pre K, it's funny mm -hmm. because like it, it's not a roast; it's like an observation they're making. I'm like, oh, but it's something totally true. Oh, yeah. it's always true. <laughs> so, there was like two times specifically. I don't know why they were both at nap time. Probably because that's like where I'm most like vulnerable. I'm like, please just go to sleep. <laughs> the first time I'm sitting there, and what we did is we would you know sit with the kids. They were all in cots, and you would just like hum or whatever or whatever you have to do to get them to sleep. And I was singing, and I'm thinking like, guys, I did musical theater. I'm amazing. I got some pipes. I, I mean like, you know, like, you know, like Mariah. I don't know her, but she knows me. <laughs> and I'm sitting there singing to my students, and one of them is like half awake. Looks at me, he's like, Mr. Wilms, please, you gotta stop singing. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like mortified. I'm like, oh my gosh, I sing to you guys every day. Like I was like that. I was hurt by that. The second one was more of like, I don't even know if it's necessary or roast it was just like i was so called out that it was hurtful yeah um i was at i was at school and all the kids are napping and i'm at my desk and i'm like i was like so uncomfy i'm like my stomach doesn't feel good and i was like i'm just gonna let out a little too like a little moment too and i do that and the student that's like six moment. feet away just like a, little, a little moment yeah, too like a, a little like boop boop you know like <laughs> like what, what, what was was that it was, it, what was like boop boop you know okay but, and so i'm sitting there i'm like all the it's fine and so i'm at my desk and i and i and i too and i'm like and a kid like six feet away from me, because this is like co the time of COVID where uh -huh. they all had to be six feet away. Um, and a kid wakes up and he's like, Mr. Williams. And I said, when goes, what is that smell? And I was like, oh <laughs> my. And I'm mortified. I'm like, honey, what's wrong? He's like, I just, it smells so bad. I can't sleep. And I was like, I don't know. I think something's wrong. I, I'm, what do you, and he's like, can you open a window? And I was like, yeah, that's fine. So I'm thinking it's done. He goes back to sleep. I made a kid cry. I farted <laughs> so bad. And I'm thinking it's done. We're done. We never have to worry about this again. No, no. I don't know how kid finds out. It's me. I didn't say, I didn't yeah. sit at my desk and confess this. I'm not joking when I say a parent walks in, not the child's parent. First thing they do, they walk up to Mr. Williams fought it during nap time. <gasps> how do you know that? That was probably the more, and they're not roasting me. Again, that's not a roast. No. Yeah. It's, it's true. That's a true just waking yeah. up kind of thing. Okay. What, it can't, you can't. That is a, that is my worst nightmare. Worst Farting in worst class? nightmare. Oh, no, but like. like Knowing. Yeah, know someone knowing, too, knowing. Cause like let's be real here. We're all humans. Yeah, like we foo foo. Yeah, yeah, you don't you don't hold in everything throughout the day. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you I'll, can't. I'll, I'll make a noise to parrot. Like like if I if, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. I'll do I've done this so many times. I'll be at my desk and like accidentally let one go. And then like when I do, I'm like, okay, I gotta make a noise that sounds so similar to that. <laughs> and I like I like drag my foot on the ground or something, or like I'll kick something so it sounds like Or a like a kid will look at you like they caught you and like it was the chair. Or I do, like, it was the, the chair. Around, like, what what the do your work. That? Yeah. Like, like, how dare you? Have you have you ever blamed a fart on a kid? I, stop. I did. Do you not know this? 100% no. he did. I didn't know this. I know this story. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Okay. I was, it was my first year teaching. <laughs> my first year teaching. I don't know if it was like this for you all, but like I got so sick because my body was not used to like the germs of teaching. Oh, yeah. And I teach mm -hmm. pre-K, so there, it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so from like November to March, I was sick the entire time. I was going to the doctor like every two weeks. And so I'm finally starting to feel better, but I have a really bad cough. And so like it's not bad unless, you know, like when you start laughing and then you, you know, like. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking my students, they're going to the bathroom. And then what they do is after they go, they just line up. And um, Barbara, 
is the line leader. So Barbara's standing there and the cutest sub, he worked there, I don't like, I've never seen him before. This is obviously before I was married. And I was like, I wanna impress him. <laughs> so I'm like talking to him and he made me laugh. And so I start laughing and I start coughing because I'm sick. And then I let out just like a little foo-foo. <laughs> what, what, what noise? What? Like, it, it was like a oh, you know, moment. <laughs> and I went, Barbara. And cause he looks at me and I was like, oh my gosh, Barbara say excuse me. And she was like, I didn't fall out. I was like, Barbara, it's not a big deal if you foo-foo. Just like don't lie about it. <laughs> I did that. I blamed her. And Barbara, I know oh she's in God. therapy. I know, like, did I gaslight a student? Yes. Am I proud of that? Absolutely not. I feel horrible about it. And, like, I will pay for your therapy, Barbara. Just call oh. me. But I did. I was, I couldn't let him know. Oh, no. I couldn't Listen, let that teacher know. it's the worst, okay, when, like, a kid in class will actually fart. Because it's so and, funny. Well, and it's, like, every fifth grader is, like, chuckling their heads yes. off. And yeah. I, like, and you have to look at them, like, it's no big deal. Like, why are you laughing so hard? We all do it. Like, and you have to, but like in your head, you're like, like, like it's funny. also funny, but like you have to like tell the kids not to laugh at the other kids, you know? Mm -hmm. Cause you know, you don't want to make someone feel you don't bad. You traumatize them. Right, yeah. right. Cause that's embarrassing for any kid, like farting in class. Like, <laughs> no, no, like everyone does it. Like, what? <laughs> what makes you laugh? Like, I don't know why. Like, I never thought in my wildest dream that 31 years old, I'd be like, <laughs> like, guys, can we talk about teacher farts? <laughs> <Like> <laughs> But this it's episode real. is really it is. all about it's farts. Real. It all right, but, but back to roast. I think what is the worst roast to get, like that actually hurts my feelings. Not necessarily hurts my feelings, but I'm like, oh, this really sucks. Is when a kid will walk in the room and they'll be like, ooh, you look tired today. Yes. And I'm like. Listen, no, that takes on a whole nother feeling when you're a woman or any person mm -hmm. that wears makeup. Okay. <laughs> because oh, no. oh, there no. are days, you know, because we're human, there are days when either I wake up late and I don't have time to put on my full entire face of makeup, or I am literally just not feeling that great that morning and I don't feel like doing it. And I'll put on, cause every day I wear makeup and luckily this year I set myself up for success because I didn't, like last year I wore fake eyelashes every single day. I don't know why I was insane last year. This year I was like, mm, no, not doing that. So I'll just throw on some mascara or whatever. So, on one of the days, and it was actually the day after the My Chemical Romance concert, <laughs> because I like, I pulled a, I don't even know what I did, but like, we had to drive to Detroit to see this concert. Girl. And from Detroit to my house, it's like a four and a half hour drive. So that night we drove to Toledo, stayed overnight in a hotel. And then that morning I had a half a day, but I still had to come to school yeah. the second half. So I um, drove home from Toledo. By the time we got home, I had to like leave for work. I didn't have time to do my hair. I didn't have time to do my makeup. I threw my hair in a hair tie and I didn't put any makeup on my face, just threw my glasses on and went to school. You know, I walked in and all the kids were like, Mrs. Wooly, you look weird. <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go jump off of something tall right now. <laughs> right. Like, why do you, you kids have to like comment when I don't right. look Ugh. like, you know, this fully made up, ready to be on a photo right. person, you know? Be, I'm glowing. You're supposed to be a teacher. You're glowing right now. I know, like, but they but they have to make a comment. Uh, when you look different than you yeah. normally look, they have oh, to make I, a comment. I love when they get super witty with their roasts. Like there was one day when I was teaching earth science, we were talking about space and I said, okay, what is the biggest object in our solar system? And the kid puts his hand up and like on the button, like he was just boom, put his hand up on the elbow. go, yes, well, what do you think it is? He goes, Mr. Dambry's forehead. And it was so okay, that's freaking funny. funny. <laughs> like everybody laughed and I was laughing and it was like, that was really clever. Yeah. And I love when kids get witty with it, like on the spot. It's like, that's, you're a clever kid. Like, okay, it's always so funny. <laughs> one of my students, so for Halloween, like, um, cause you know, Halloween was a few months ago. Um, we did a like writing where they like choose my Halloween costume yeah. and they have to tell me why using opinion writing or whatever. So one of my kids, noticed that I door dash a lot to the school. My <laughs> school's in the middle of nowhere, so I have to, like, if I want food, I can't just, like, leave the school, pop down the street and get some yeah. lunch. I have to door dash it in. 
So they drew me as a DoorDash person. And it kind of, it was like cute and funny, but it kind of felt like a roast. Like we see you ordering food every day. Yeah, like, you we know, know what you're doing. Yeah, we know what you're doing. Like you're totally ordering food in front of they're us. Like, they're like observant. Like, <laughs> oh yes, they are. I, me and my co-teacher went as um, Mr. And Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Incredible one year. Mm-hmm. And the kids were, is it Dash is the kid? Yeah. And I come in and I'm, I'm dressed up and they, are you Dash? And I was like, no, I'm Mr. Incredible. They, where are your muscles? And I'm like, oh, 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 oh no. Are you kidding me? Oh, like I was no. like, I mean, humbled. You're right. Like, I mean, nothing's gonna humble you more than your student. Like, mm-hmm. and, and especially in pre-K, they don't mean it. Like, I did musical theater all the time. I'd come and I didn't want to like completely have to take off my makeup from the mm-hmm. night before when you're in tech week, right? So I would come in with like like the trace amount of eyeliner. They'd be like, Why is your face painted? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's not, I don't have face paint on. So one of my um my friend's students roasted her like a couple weeks ago. So again for Halloween, we were Mario and Luigi Mario Kart. Oh, no. And we made a TikTok together. And this I like she is not on TikTok, but like she humored me and was like a part of my video. And the kids saw it and they came into school the next day and were like, Oh, we saw your video. Like, are you gonna make a TikTok? You should make a TikTok. And she was like, No, I'm not as interesting as Mrs. Woolley. No one would watch those videos. And they said, Well, if you dress like her, they would. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, that's so <laughs> mean. So she's like, apparently I dress like a grandmother because oh no. <laughs> like apparently I'm not cool enough. Oh. I was my, like, don't let them teach you or treat you like that. That's mean. My students always roast me for being tall and not being in the NBA. Like they think because I'm six foot five that it's a guarantee <laughs> that I should be in the NBA. And I had one kid, we were talking about sports, and he goes, Hey, how tall was Spud Webb? And he Who's was that? Spud Who's Webb that? was an NBA player. Okay, he was like I'm he was four foot ten, right? Uh, mean, did, he no, was, I, I literally I think he was or no, maybe he was five six. Maybe he was five six. I'm I think five, I'm, I'm not five, a sports six. person. Yeah, I, have no I think idea. he was five six. I, for some reason, he goes, he goes. I think he I think he was four foot ten, or maybe almost an entire yeah. foot taller <laughs> than that. Close. But he was he was like I think he was five six. He was super tiny, and uh, yeah, we'll fact check. Wait, that. I'm five six. Am I? Am I super five, tiny? He's 5'6". Yes, okay. so fact check. He was 5'6". Am I taller he puts than it, you? I'm 5'7". Close, that was close. So we're talking and he goes, hey, how tall was Spud Webb? And I look up, like, oh, he was 5'6". And he goes, oh, he played in the NBA, right? I'm like, yeah, he did. And he goes, how tall are you, Mr. Damring? I say, oh, I was 6'5". He goes, what's your excuse then? <gasps> and I, Ouch. I was like... That is so good. Wait, did you play basketball? I did play basketball. Why didn't? Why aren't you in the? Why aren't you in the NBA? Um, ugh, just, you know, I blew my knee out, I and if so. it wasn't for that injury, yeah, I would have. I would have been in. Yeah. It wasn't because my ball handling skills. It wasn't yeah. because I was slow. No, that door it was, closed. It for wasn't you. that. It was. It was that dang injury. <laughs> how are, that how kept can you be behind. slow when you're six five? Well, there's like. I thought you were speedy fast. Well, okay, I'm a. F- I'm a former Division II college <laughs> track athlete. Oh, I heard, I was I heard so two, but not fast. one. Mm. Former Division II college <laughs> athlete, okay? We love a speedy queen. We love I, it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I love basketball, and I love, like, being tall basketball was so much easier, but I was better at running. Wait, do you say being... Would you say being, being tall made basketball so much? Are there's a being in tall basketball? I'm like there, there's a different yeah, tall man league. Tall I was in people. tall man league. There's a tall basketball tall and league and a short, and short league. basketball league. I had no but, excuse but for my that. students. <laughs> always think because I'm six five, I should be in the NBA, and they just blast me for it all the time. Hey, listen though, tall people can do other things like volleyball or teach or teach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess I'd go with the teaching route. I, I thought my What's height. What's that would, statement? Those who can't play, coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding because I, I was a also coach a coach of things <laughs> and I did them. I was a good roast. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> that was good. No. Um, oh. What was I gonna say? Oh, one of my students. One of my students roasted me the one day because I was um, getting my extensions. So the first time I ever got my like set of extensions. So those of you who didn't already know, these are not. This is not my hair. Like I'm. It's I'm someone's hair. It's someone's hair. It's just not mine. Wait, are extensions real hair? Oh uh, yeah, Sometimes. these are yeah Sometimes. these no these ones these are real human hair like they're it can, they're, be, it can be synthetic it can be horse hair it can be human hair yeah these really? ones yeah. yeah these are called Bellamy extensions so they're actually like from Shout someone out. who Shout <laughs> out. So, yeah sponsor me um, someone actually like grew this on their head and then they were paid to like sell it to make extensions and you can That's make a thing. oh you That's can make if you're a redhead Get you out can of make town. insane oh, money oh yeah oh yeah insane. extensions what? oh yeah. yeah what about like leg hair. 
Can you shave my leg no, here off and turn no, that no, out? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> for, like, for like a facial beard, beard wig. <laughs> no. Anywho. Beard extensions. Beard extensions. That, so that's I got my. <laughs> So I got my extensions put in the night before and like the first time I'd ever gotten them like they were not great and they they didn't look the best. I had to get them like fixed up. So I took them to school the next day. I had them in like in a hair tie like they were in my head. Sorry. Well, to I didn't school. mean I, like, I took them like I them carried them to school. <laughs> no, like they were I had them pulled back in a hair tie like they were in my hair. But my kids, my students went, this is Wooly. I love your wig. And you're like, <laughs> I was like it's not a wig. I'm like, this is this is my hair and like just <laughs> some extra hair. And they were like, all week long, it was like the running joke. They'd be like, this is really nice wig. And I'm like, oh my God, stop. <laughs> wigs are like, wigs are hard to make realistic yes. looking. So like, I'd be like, well, this hairline must be a great wig then because baby, as a as someone who is a wig master at a theater, right. <laughs> it's hard to make wigs look good. But like, and I will always use this, but like John Mulaney used this joke and he said like, you know, Shut eighth up. graders, and like, but this applies to all like all middle schoolers. Oh, or or all give grade it to levels me. in give general. Me the, give me the thing. But they will make fun of the thing that you don't like about yes. you. <laughs> Every kid. That's so true. And like yeah. the thing that you're insecure about. Yes. And they're like, you're like, no, that's what I'm sensitive about. 100%. And like, I all week long was like, does it look bad? Like, do, should I take them out? Like, do they look? And like now, like they don't say anything about it because like they just know I have extensions. They can actually look good, but Thank yeah. You. But like I, it was so. I was so sensitive about yes. them the whole week. I'm like, I'm just going to take them out. These well, kids just one ruined of, it. One of my tips for all new teachers is never get a haircut. Because Ever. kids mm. notice the yeah. second that you cut your hair. Oh. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter, they will always know. They'll be like, you got a haircut. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then they'll just start roasting you. Yeah. And just nailing and it. And it can look great is the thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. like I, I won't forget in our class pre-K, um, like anytime I got a haircut or like, cause I'm always messing with my hair color. Your mom notices, I guess. Oh, my mom, my mom loves tells hair. She'll be like, what color is it she, now? Oh, she gets <laughs> mad when you dye it blonde. I know, I'm so sorry. I'll dye it I back know. soon, eventually yeah, when Susan it starts to fall out. Susan gets mad. She's like, tell him to dye his hair back to brown. <laughs> and I'll Susan, be like, yeah, let me tell him. <laughs> G give me a few months when I hate it again and I'll, it's my, my hair is just, but they'll always say something like, why is it yellow? And I'm like, it's okay. Then I know I need, I need to tone it. But I won't forget we had we were doing an activity um, with uh, Mr. Potato Heads. Yeah. And so they had to, we were naming like, you know, parts of the body and stuff like that because it's really important to like, you know, eyes and this and this and this. And I'll never I've never been more self-conscious in my life when a student was looking at a Mr. Potato Head nose. I was like, this is Mr. Williams. And he's put it on there and told me I had a Mr. Potato Head nose, which is st stupid in, in hindsight. But like I have never been, I've always been self-conscious about my nose. My younger sister, Kimberly, has like she goes to people, has to, to yeah. like plastic surgeons and are like, they just gesture to her. And I was like, <laughs> I want that nose. It's gorgeous. It's, it's a little bit, boop, boop, little button nose moment. And they, I don't know that how they knew. I don't know if they're a mind reader, but they knew my insecurity was my nose. And they were just like showing me the Mr. Potato Head that was me. And I'm like, I, is my body shape like that too? Like, am I a Mr. Potato Head body? I don't know. Pre-K oh kids gosh. know how to hurt you. They really do. All kids. They really do. They I do and the they don't intentionally do it, though. No. Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> yeah, well. Like, yeah. I do love the point you made, though, that kids do find like what you are most insecure yep. about. And they just, they, they're, they're like cats. They're yeah. like cats. Where the, they'll, they'll walk up to that insecurity, poke it a little bit, and then just walk away. And then just yeah. let you think about it. Just like cats. Cats will come up to your leg, rub on your leg a little bit, you go down to pet it, and boop, boop, walk like, away. Fine. And you'll never <laughs> see it again, but you'll always think about it. Always. And cat or and students are just like that. They will just put that little sprinkle of comment about about your hair or like hairline. Like, oh, hairline kind of looks like the McDonald's sign. Then never touch it again, never bring it up. And you're just, I'm just always thinking about it. Like, And then there'll be like cats where like, you know how cats will just walk up to something and like after they've touched it a couple times, they'll just totally knock it off yeah. the shelf. <laughs> That's what they'll do like later on. They'll die. bring that back like months uh -huh. later and be like, remember when I told you that your hairline looked like McDonald's? Yeah. Yeah. Now <laughs> it's looking... Ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's her... Do you think... I think... Personally, I'm not gonna put it on you because you're like a nice human. Like, <laughs> I think that it's my punishment for maybe not being the nicest to my teachers or roasting my did teachers. Did you roast your teachers? Up. I did. I had like... And I loved them all. Like, mm -hmm. I, I genuinely... I, I look back now... I can't remember a teacher that like I genuinely didn't love because yeah. they were always like I was really really fortunate where I grew up that I had amazing teachers mm -hmm. but there's one and he was just like he was such like he he made fun of himself I oh I teaching real world influencing all of that aspect I love making fun of myself mm -hmm. like 
I like begged my husband my thirtieth birthday ro- have a roast of me. He's like. Baby, you're sensitive you though. Would cry. Like you'd be like, that's funny until it's like the one about my nose. You know, like I'd be like, mm. wow. <laughs> Too far. Yeah. Make fun of my uh-uh. intelligence all you want, but my nose, you know? <laughs> but he he would always roast himself. And I remember he'd come in one time and he wore like these earthy looking shoes, baby. Like like these earthy. Earth, like like sandals. Well, like Okay. I was like, earth, what does earthy no. yeah. mean? Like and he did, like he was very big on like he like he never um drove. Like he like he talked about carbon footprint. He was our environmental science teacher. Never showered. Oh. Amazing. Oh. Like, ne- like he actually didn't know what a shower was, you know? Um no, he was <laughs> oh. so nice, but we so like, but I would do this thing in class where, like, he always wanted people to call him by his first name. And his name was Zebulon. I love that name. What I was think it? Fun- Zebulon. What? That's a cool name. Amazing name. But That's he would give, he'd give us an assignment. And I didn't want to do this. I'd be like, and I do this to you. I do to everyone. I'd go, Zebby. Like, I will nickname you and be as annoying as possible. And so I, I still, to this day, think that in his dreams, he hears Zebby or Zebison and thinks, no, I'm not doing this. And Zebulon. I'm still Zebulon. stuck on Zebulon. That Zebulon. is an interesting Isn't name. It like a, I think it's a great so, name. It's like, it reminds me of like Xenon. Yes. You know? Oh, yes. 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 Disney show. Yes. yes. Like Xenon, he told girl the first of the first century. century. Yeah. I was like, there's, yeah. no, there's no way that's... And I'm... What's it started with a Z? Vic's like, stop it. Do you know Xenon, Vic? <laughs> okay, see, Xenon. <laughs> Kristen, yeah. Kristen Storm or whatever her name was. And yeah. Guys, Something. I... <laughs> you weren't even Something. born when Xenon was on, probably. When were you I born? I remember watching it as a... Okay. I remember when, like, as a kid watching it, being like, it "Oh, like this is four. older." I remember on uh, T- T- TMC or TCM or whatever is <laughs> yeah. Turner Classic Movies. Like, <laughs> no, it was like I remember watching it, and being like, "Oh, this is like an older show. Like, it's uh, cool. Like playing the classics." It's, it's it's like, cool. Listen, one of my one of my favorite things to do is to because I have like Disney Plus, so I will log in on my classroom. Mm-hmm. And obviously these kids have seen every Pixar movie that has Mm -hmm. ever come out, but they have never seen a lot of the Disney Channel movies. So I will like hop us back to the 90s and watch some of the Disney Channel movies in my classroom. Like Smart House. (gasps) Oh, yes. Good Good one. one. Yes. That one is my absolute favorite of all time. But like I'll show those in my classroom and the one that like it wasn't a Disney Channel movie, but the one that just caught me that I was like, you don't know this. Like was Emperor's New Groove. Oh, like that's, that's we were, because we were learning, yeah, we okay. were learning, but it's not a channel movie. Like oh, it's yeah, a Disney yeah. movie, but so we were learning about like, uh, we talked about like the Incans yeah. and we were talking about the Empire and for they had earned a class party and in the background, like we were going to watch a movie. So I picked that one and like, I used to let them vote and sometimes I still do, but it's, just, you know, sometimes you want to introduce them to new stuff. Yeah. So I, picked Emperor's New Groove and they had never were they like, seen it before. And they, they loved it. It's so good. But they were like, what is this? And I'm like, <gasps> I'm like, oh my God, that's how I know I'm ancient. And like, it like sometimes I still feel young. Mm-hmm. Like I know I'm 28, but like I still feel and like- it's young. Like that's young, and that's, but like that's yeah, fifth I'm not, graders. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm old, but like, you know, I still feel young, young. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like the kids I teach were born when I was a senior in high school. Mm-hmm. And uh-huh. so like- even the one day, the kid was like, he because uh, I we have a cell phone pocket chart in the front of the room, so like the kids have to come in, turn their cell phones off, and put it in the pocket chart, yeah. just so there's no issues with them throughout the day. So um, I made the announcement. I said, "All right, guys, if you haven't already put your cell phone in the chart, make sure you go and do that." And one of the kids goes, "I left my cell at home, right? Isn't that what old people call it, Mrs. Willie's cells?" And I was like, "I don't know, oh. am I old people?" And he was like. I mean, and I go, well, hold on, choose your next words carefully. <laughs> and he goes, I, like, oh, I mi- will fight you. Yeah, he goes, oh, Mrs. W- no, you're like so young. What are you like, 20? And I was like, good, good She save. put the pop quiz back into her yeah. desk. Like, <laughs> you, know, you know what I do a lot, which blows my mind with kids. Whenever we play Jeopardy, I always mm-hmm. have one of the columns be movie quotes. My dad did that when I was in high school and I thought it was Aww, the coolest thing ever. So yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna do that when Wait, I'm a teacher. Was your dad a teacher? Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. Oh yeah, he was, he I was, didn't know that. Yeah, he was my uh, high school anatomy and fun. AP bio teacher. Shut yeah. up, that's you fun. Yeah. in dad's footprints. Yeah, dude, I, his footsteps. There's so many, there's so many times. Like his footsteps. There's so many times his when. footprints. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? It's not footprints? No, it's footsteps. Shut up, guys. I've been saying that for years. I've been saying that for years. <laughs> Look it up. Is that, is yeah. it, um, okay. But, but there's, there's so many times in life when I like realize I'm turning into my father. As a kid, 
whenever we would go to, like I'd ride with my dad to school, mm-hmm. he would be drinking coffee out of a styrofoam cup and he listened to Bob and Tom's show and we'd drive, oh, and we would drive to school gosh. where he'd go be a science teacher. You know what I do every freaking morning? What? I get that styrofoam cup, I get in my car, I drive to go teach science, I listen to the Bob and Tom show. And I'm like, I am my dad. Oh my I am coming back so much with saying Bob and I have not oh, thought Oh yeah, it. I know. Bob and Tom, how are you, baby? Like, are oh, you guys doing it. good? So are good. you thriving? But uh, b- back to movie quotes, back to movie. So I'll always have movie quotes and these kids don't know the movie quotes that like we like are so accustomed to. Yeah. One of them that they don't know, Mean Girls, she doesn't even go here. <gasps> I had that as a movie quote. They, crickets. They weren't alive yet. Crickets. Well, that, yeah. See, but that, that, yeah, hold on. But Mean Girls is like a cult, a cult classic. classic and yeah. it's on TikTok. Yeah. Like oh, everywhere. Yeah. But like there's all there's always be like now. one or two that would be like, "Oh, I know that." But everybody else is just kind of looking at each other. Like you would think that everybody would be like, "Oh, Mean Girls, easy." They don't know the movies mm. that we're used to. Well, cuz they, they don't like I I'm, I'm trying to think. I've always thought of like what yeah. movies like I went to Disney World. <sighs> I went to Disney World like two weeks ago and I like all of the rides, the the things you buy. Yeah. Like most of them I had no idea. Like my my niece likes zo- no zombie high school high school zombie. zombie. Oh yeah. Oh I zombies? Zombies. Is that what it's called? And there's like a there's like, like yeah, a cheerleader. Okay. Yeah. It's like and, a whole restaurant yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Oh, it is? I had no idea what was going on, guys. Guys, had, are we getting old? I had no We're uh, getting old. I know I old? am, but like Listen, I'm like I only have two years left in my twenties, and uh, like, okay, I always said I was never gonna be one of the. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Don't say oof. The producer was like, "I'm like he started to like you know." You're in your thirties already. Don't oof me. Anyway, um, <laughs> no, um, but like I, I always said I wasn't gonna be one of those people that's like weird about my age. And I, I don't lie about my age, right. like, but it, you know, it gets to you a little bit when you're like, I only have two years left in my twenties. Listen, but like, thirties are like the new twenties. I listen, feel like. Listen, no, it's not even that. I, you could not pay me to go back to my twenties. That's what I hear all you, the time. Really? I've never talked to yeah. anyone in their thirties. No, you were gonna. You'll, you'll you, love your thirties more. Really? I, swear. I love my late twenties. You don't like your I love baby, my 20s. baby, early twenties. <laughs> do you like your Do you like your thirties more, Devin? And we're asking our producers. Um, I like. Good. Listen, if you're a gay person, I love my 30s, and every gay person I've talked to loves their 30s. Really? Every every, listen, I think there's something about be like as you get older, you become very comfortable with who like who you are, I agree. and the insecurities really go away. Like, I agree. I, I okay. I will maybe say do they really because really? no. we just talked about your nose. Listen, listen. <laughs> no, because, because listen, because I can change that. Listen, I didn't realize He's the like, roast I episode. I can just get some rhinoplasty yeah, like, listen, and I'll be good. Like, boop, boop, boop. There's, but there, there's like there's like things that like um. <laughs> listen, when they give you that okay, AARP card. <laughs> get, I didn't mean that as a roast. I no, was just, it's okay. <laughs> Happy meal over there. Why don't we? <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, was so you, good. You didn't know that we were gonna be roasting. <laughs> hey, so does your good. does your dad still pay your cell phone bill? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! You're oh, still your God. parents' insurance. So oh, what? My yeah, gosh. I'm fiscally responsible. Wait. What about it? What about <laughs> it, guys? This is funny to me. <laughs> okay, so do you want to roast each other? <laughs> listen, like I I feel like no, I feel like the like. I freak out about my 30s because me and Jordan for the longest time have said like, okay, 30s is when we'll start thinking about kids. Yeah. And so to jo- <laughs> like if you ask Jordan, like he wants kids, but he always acts like he's like, oh, well, there's the end of my life. Like yeah. that's when life ends and Vic's going, yeah, it is. Yeah. No, but like really I... I do agree with that point that you're like, you're more secure with yourself because obviously are there insecurities you have yes. always? Absolutely. But I do feel like this is the most myself I have ever felt. And like, yes. I'm approaching my thirties and yeah, I'm, I'm a little like hesitant, but I do feel good about like where my life is at this point. And oh, so yeah. I do, I do agree with that. That like I think twenties were fun. But like 30s seem like they're going to be fun too. Like for a different reason. I maybe. feel like 20, my 20s were for other people and my 30s were for me. Yeah. Mm. Like, I like that. Wow. I like that I, a am lot. Am I a social worker? Yes. Am I the next Brene Brown? Also, yes. <laughs> um, no, I feel like I feel my 20s were to like to socialize and have fun with other people. And my 30s is like a time for me to like really like, I mean, I went back to graduate school. Yeah. In my 30s, you know what I mean? And like, I realized, like, I love teaching. I love education. Mm-hmm. And so now I'm going to make a career out of advocating for those teachers and yeah. doing when you're accepting that part of you where you're like, I'm in my 30s. I might as well, like, 
you know, can what I, do you have to lose? Can I ask you something? Can you advocate for me not to have to do this challenge we're about to do? Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, <laughs> I literally just, I don't know if people, they're going to sit on the video of me be like talking. And I'm just staring at the blue talkies in front of us. Should we just start? Okay. I'm so well, scared. let's get into this. All <laughs> so, right. So, so what every- we're going to do is um, we had our husbands who are here on the trip with us. We had our husbands write down 10 things that were either really embarrassing moments in our lives or were annoying things that we do. Right. Um, And we scattered them together and we're going to read them off. And then Gabe has to try and guess whose embarrassing moment it is, whether it's Tell or me. If he gets it right, Tell and I have to eat a blue heat talkie dipped in hot sauce. Hot, y'all, hot. Hot sauce. sauce. Hot with two T's. Yeah. And if Gabe gets it wrong, he has, he has to. to do it. This is, uh, this is, uh, we, also have, we also have these gorgeous glasses of lukewarm milk. And Gabe's lactose intolerant. Yes, I am actually <laughs> lactose intolerant. So speaking of the two. So Gabe. Yeah, uh, so. This is gonna go not well for no, me. No, this is not gonna be pretty. I better be tonight. guessing right. All right, so we're gonna be using up all five of those bathrooms tonight. Oh, boy. oh my gosh, baby! <laughs> Lauren and I mix these around, so we're gonna read them as if it's a statement coming from us. Some of them are statements from us. Some of us are. All right, not. you want to go first? I'll go first. All right, go for okay. it. Okay, we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with an easy one first okay. for him. I don't know if it's easy, but it's easy for me to say. Um, <laughs> I can't spell the word exercise. Oh, tell. No, please don't make me do it first. Ah! Guys. Uh, tell has to do it first. You strike me as a guy who can't spell that. All right, yeah, hold on. I gotta sneak around my microphone. Okay. All right, here's the hot sauce. When you're near your my 30s, hand is shaking. I'm so nervous. I know. For this. And here's the. I think people are gonna think we're exaggerating when we say no, this. Um, I... here we'll like keep it and then we'll just pass yeah, it around. Yeah, I'll hold it for okay. you. Go ahead. Um. I think people think we're joking when we say this. It like stings my nose yeah. to smell this. Okay, it so. It does sting. How it much really are, does. How, oh, do I have to eat the whole Taki? Yeah. yeah. Can I do it in just like one bite? One yeah. foul swoop, do it. What is it? I smell it oh. It, no, it's, All right, so listen. He dipped the Taki and it's about halfway up it like, of hot sauce. That's like, so great. I'm it like scared sto- for it's you. It's like stops my breathing. It's, oh. it's, it's, it, it's, when you, you know, like, it's like smelling salt. That's all I can think. Oh. I've it's never like smelled a smelling salt. but Like if you were passed out, this would wake you up. Now you're just delaying it. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright, if on a heat scale of one to ten. I think it's like worse. I, oh, um <laughs> oh. He's like it gets worse as you go. I'm <laughs> He can't even talk. I can it's like a it's I feel like it goes from like an eight to like a three to back ten eight. An eight to a three? An eight to a three, and it's, it's hot. So maybe the top with the hot sauce was the eight, and then you got to the part without the hot sauce? Yeah, it's it's like not so bad on your like mouth. It's like when it starts to like go down your throat and your esophagus, it's like, it burns. That, that's oh. payback for the Happy Meal it's, comment. I'm so sorry. Well. I, I, you know what? I regret it now. I'm going to drink some milk. All right. All right. Here's your next one. Are you ready? Okay. As a senior in high school, I crashed into a snowbank. Oh, that's got to be Lauren. That is tell. What? Ah. I did. I was, I was driving a friend home. We were a cane at my house and we got like two feet of snow overnight. And I was driving them home and crashed right into a snowbank. Ruined my Dodge Stratus. <laughs> wow, fancy drink. Oh, this is so gross. Do it. All right, Tataki is dipped. How's it taste? Oh, I see why whenever I always have students. That will eat these in class, and they'll right? come up to my desk, just like sweating, like, "Can I go get a drink?" I'm like, "What is wrong with you? <laughs> Why do they get always go for the it's, hottest snacks ever?" Like, it, but it, like, oh. it's a like slow burn; like it feels fine at first, it's, and then. But it's it really doesn't. like they love like hot Cheetos and Ooh. like hot Takis. They'll do, do the one chip challenge in class. Mm. Do they really? Yeah. Oh god, like, my fifth graders don't do that. Yeah, no, middle schoolers are too confident. No, middle schoolers Oof. have to use way more deodorant if they're going to be use, doing that hot challenge. People. Yeah, no, oh, that's gross. Okay, all right, your turn. Um, when I get heated, I'll clap each word that I'm like I'm counting syllables in my classroom. Lauren, I'm so sorry, BB cream. Yes. <sighs> How did that happen to all of us? Okay, so like whenever Jordan and I like if we get into an argument or something, and I I am like I know I'm right about something, and he's just not hearing me, I will start to like slow how I'm saying the words, but clap them. 
my eyes. That's kind of scary. I, I don't want to. I don't want to experience you getting mad. I don't freaks get me out mad often. I really don't. Like I get like Jordan calls it like feisty. I get feisty, but like I don't get like mad. Did you get like, uh, like fiery ever? Yeah. Just, like, hot headed. No, I wouldn't even say hot headed. I just get like. Yeah, I guess I would just say I get like a little bit like amped up. Oh my god, no! You're making puns about the hot doggies I'm about to eat. Oh, I, how did I not catch that? Oh my god, I, I, blonde <laughs> moment. If no, I'm not, I used to be blonde. Okay, so it was a blonde moment. All oh, right. She's, the whole thing. Eat put, the whole thing. The whole thing. There you go. I know. Oof. I know. I'm gonna make it. Oof. These are not good. Ah, I can't do spicy. I know. Oh, okay. I don't like that. <sighs> Like, the flavor is so good, but the heat hurts. The, the heat does not feel great. And I don't think it's like the taki heat. I think it's like the hot sauce heat. I think I picked the wrong thing. All right, the I hot sauce some, heat is just like a, it adds a different milk. element. Yeah. All right. You guys got another one? Yeah. I want to get one, one more. Oh, oh, one more. We got it. Oh, we got, more. oh we, got a, we got a few. Oh, beautiful. All right. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Ooh. I was the understudy for the lead in a production of Grease. Tell wrong <laughs> no way <laughs> are you me. serious yes i hate you were understudy for sandy i, I was understudy for sandy do you oh, think i was sandy. understudy for sandy i thought you might have been danny god no <laughs> i'm a kanicki i'm a, he is. <laughs> all right eat your top there's a dip oh you gotta dip more than oh. that it, it touched the bottom i'm That's sweaty pathetic. it touched it's at the bottom here let me tilt oh, it for no. you well, <laughs> it can't tip the cup <laughs> now this is unfair all right do it Oh God! I love the blue fingers. Oh, <laughs> I know. Shoot! Oh! Oh! oh. He doesn't bleep, love it. We'll bleep that. There was a uh, wait. What did he say? I said shoot. Oh, okay. There was uh, mm -hmm. hot sauce that went into the little chamber and it just like pulled there and I bit into it. It was like a fruit gusher of hot into sauce. Oh no! It was a talkie oh. gusher. The, talkie gusher. The Not hot, a fan. The hot gusher. It's a geyser or something. It's a geyser. <laughs> um, All right, your turn. <laughs> These okay, are fun. These are very funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> on me and my husband's first day, I said, I'm going to marry you. And then walked into the bathroom without saying another word. Tell. I did. You did do that? <laughs> he did. When, you, it, wow. Uh, listen, listen. We had the worst first date anyone's ever experienced. And so I thought I would never see this man again. And so I thought it'd be funny to tell him, we're going to get married and then stumble off to the bathroom. Um, so you were just like messing with him. I had because you thought you were never going to see him zero again. Zero desire to marry this man on our first date. We hate each other the first date. Did you really? And then like as the date continued, like because we had like one martini, two martini, yeah. too much of them, and so we had to <laughs> sit at the, we had to sit at the restaurant and sober up because like that's not something I'm going to do, you know. And Uber wasn't like a huge thing then, so we sat there for we stopped drinking and sat there for hours and we sobered up and they're like, wait, we like each other. Maybe we should do it like one more Give one more shot. date. And then it was great, but the first one was not good. I wore a beanie because I had a really bad haircut. I looked like Roger from Doug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, why is it worse? Oh, because your mouth is. is still burning. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Here's your next one. I have a tendency to hyperfixate on something for months on end, oh, and my husband gets to live with this newfound love. Lauren. Dang we talked. We talked I'm about this in the car when you said that uh, TV shows, you like hyperfixate on on TV Ugh. shows. That <sighs> I do, I do. I really hyperfixate. Not even just on TV shows, but it's like I get like hyperfixated on little things. So really? like, oh yeah, like all of summer I was hyperfixated on eating a chocolate chip waffle with some Nutella on top for breakfast so every good. single morning. That's so good. Though. Then at the beginning of the school year. I hyper fixated on just eating like romaine lettuce with cucumbers and ranch and some cheese. That was my lunch every single day. Now I'm like hyper fixated on um, like learning about the Culper spy ring in like the Revolutionary War. Ooh. And like I yeah, I hyper fixate on things for I months. Think my throat's ruined. <laughs> those, those of you listening, Tell's glasses are slowly sinking down his face because he's getting like, so sweaty. They can't <laughs> stay up on his on his nose. It feels okay. Like all right, all right, let me do this. Ooh, that was a nice that little crunch. Good. That felt like very ASMR. Oh, I won't be able to listen to this episode if I hear you chewing into that. 
<laughs> Why are we roasting each other? Oh, you're it, right. It is worse. It's the like second heartburn time. in your mouth. All I don't right, like it. You go. It. You go. Heartburn in um, your mouth. Okay, one more. We're gonna do one more. Oh God. Okay. I'm sweating, you guys. I know. At least I don't it won't like be me. it. I don't want to say this one, but um, I, just, I keep coughing because it's in the back of my throat. Um, I cried incredibly hard during the fourth season of Stranger Things that I got nauseous. Lauren. It was me. It was you did? I what made you cry? Um, well, I don't want to give anything away, but when Eleven is talking and the little the little Eddie yeah, moment. I'm give you the mug for a minute. The Eddie moment made me cry a lot. Yeah. And then when Eleven's talking towards the end of it, I had to turn off because I got nauseous. I cried so hard. Really? Yeah, yeah that was like, it was me. rough. That's it was, cute. It was a moment. It was, it was all, rough. It's all about if you the haven't time. seen it yet, you need to watch it. Yeah. That's it was cute really that good. a kid's show made you cry. My fingers are blue. I don't think it, I know. I, I I keep trying to lick it off, and I'm like, don't do it. To. Oh my god, it does burn your throat. It, it, All right, this one's a. This is like the biggest one in the bag. Oh god, it's so nasty. I feel like it's only a fair initiation to make you eat the last hot talkie. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> As you There's choke like fumes on it, fumes coming off of it. <laughs> There's fumes. Oh, it's like instant. Anyway, like, well. This was a terrifying and fun challenge. <laughs> um, make sure you guys send us any other fun challenges you want us to do at the end of the podcast yeah. um, on the comments of our YouTube videos. Uh, and keep an eye out for different Google Forms we're going to be putting out for stories. <laughs> you good? <laughs> no. We have Sorry. moments. We have moments before he dies. I can't drink the milk because I'm going like, to And just that like that, that well. was the end of Gabe's career as a podcast host. <laughs> He's leaving now. He's like, never mind. I hate this job. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and listening and we will see you guys in the next one bye guys <laughs> Goodbye.